This is for the Divine Feminine that is resonating with a sense of knowing that there is an opening and a new beginning ushering in for you of prosperity and abundance and love and support in all different shapes and forms after a long period of stagnation deep healing transformation and likely at least one or multiple dark nights of the soul that have broken you wide open and have finally got you to choose yourself. Any place that you've been seeking validation outside of yourself or approval or some form of safety or security reaching outside of yourself for a circumstance, a situation, or a relationship, a person, any place you've been using any externalized form to validate you in any way, whether this be a business, a career, financial status, relationships, All of these attempts have led you to a lot of resistance, a lot of stagnation, a lot of blocks, and ultimately a lot of time in solitude, deep healing and transformation, literally shedding your old skin multiple times, embracing your dark feminine energy and this transformative process there's been likely a lot of emotional purging there's been a lot of releasing allowing accepting and most importantly surrendering trusting and surrendering in yourself which is trusting and surrendering to the divine because you are divine. And as you continue to trust and surrender into your divine feminine wisdom and embrace your feminine essence and fully trust and know and surrender the outcomes, detach from the any neediness or old patterns of conditioning or belief systems or thought patterns of lack or scarcity unworthiness any fears that arise in in these areas they've all been bubbling up to the surface ultimately so you can clear them and and move through them versus allow them to keep you stuck you're literally shedding the layer of who you've been up until this point and you're entering a whole new cycle of embracing your divine sovereignty your empress energy fully choosing yourself and as you do this you open to receive the divine prosperity and abundance that's meant for you This has not been an easy journey through these cycles. This has not been something that you've even been able to articulate to others. So there's been a lot of solitude, a lot of hermiting, a lot of isolation and this is also divinely guided so that you can turn inward and connect to your true essence connect to your divine wisdom connect to your sacred heart connect to who you truly are which is beyond form there's beyond this physical 
physical character avatar you're playing in this 3D world and this 3D reality. You listen to so many divine feminine energy videos out there and um, you'll get a lot of mixed messages. A lot of people are grasping on to the divine feminine label and using it as a way to discuss how to get your way in, let's say, a relationship or uh, with career success or with abundance. And partially there's truth to that because as you come into your feminine magnetism, you literally call in like a magnet your desires and things start to populate in your 3D reality that are a match for that because you fully come into your worthiness. But these teachings that you might be stumbling on that are teaching feminine energy to be something for you to achieve some kind of externalized validation, some kind of success outside of yourself, or maybe a relationship, or maybe status, or beauty. You know, you see so many different, um, so many different teachings out there, and and that's okay because that's just that's just what is. It's just if everybody can post whatever they want, but tap into your heart space, and if this resonates, no that your feminine essence has nothing to do with you needing anything outside of yourself, whether that be a relationship, career success, any other form of accolades, or any form of safety or security outside of yourself. There is no approval or validation or person, place, or thing, or circumstance that you need outside of yourself, your feminine essence points to the true nature of your being, which is already whole. It's already complete. It's not wounded. When you hear me talk about the wounded feminine, I say that in air quotes because ultimately you are not wounded. The true you, the essence of you is not wounded, but yet there's belief patterns and conditioning and thought patterns and and things like that that may believe that you are. And ultimately, the cycle of deep transformation, solitude, hermiting and going inward has directed you back to yourself. And if you notice and you're resonating with this, every path that you used to seek outside of yourself over the past few months or years as this energy has heightened, you'll notice that any attempt to reach outside of yourself for anything has backfired. Again, meeting you with resistance, stagnation, blockages, And this could be in all areas of your life. It could be in friendships, romantic relationship, um, career, finances. You can almost feel the stagnation. And you can also feel now if you're really doing the true quote-unquote work. Because it's not really work. You don't have to work at being your true essence. It's beingness. You are one with all that is. You are one with existence itself. You are one with, call it the divine, call it God, call it awareness, call it consciousness, call it the absolute, call it infinite intelligence. It doesn't matter. You are one with all of that. And so what does that really mean? When you say you are one, from a conceptual level, you can say, okay, okay, I get that, I understand that, I'm one with everything, yep, namaste, namaste, right? (laughs) But what does it really mean? 
if you're one with everything and oneness is all there is, which is what is being revealed to you on this journey, then that means there is no separation. That means that everything is the same, that everything is one appearing as something, that everyone is one appearing as many. And so ultimately at the root, 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 deep down core of your being, you are not the separate sense of self. You are the light. You are the love. You are divine. You are the infinite shining through this physical form. And so naturally, any attempt to reach outside of yourself to try to soothe yourself or t try to attract in something that you want or desire and some form of validation or neediness has backfired, divinely so. Of course it has, because this path is not a journey of acquiring things. It's not a journey of manifestation. It's not a journey of becoming. It's actually a journey of unbecoming everything that you thought you were and peeling away all the layers to come into the wholeness of who you truly are at your core and as a paradox to that, as you continue to shed layers of untruth and continue to let go of all the things you thought you needed, as a paradox, that's exactly what activates your feminine magnetism naturally, which then calls in your heart's desires. But it's only in the process of letting go and unbecoming and coming into oneness with who you truly are and not needing any of those things for them to come into your experience. And so if you ever stumble upon people trying to use feminine energy or masculine energy as a way to manipulate and manifest some external desire, this should be a red flag for you. It's an endless loop of suffering that you're embarking on. It's an endless loop of suffering because it keeps you separate from the things you actually desire because it's saying you're separate from them when in actuality you're not. And this isn't a journey of manifestation. That's just a byproduct of you coming into awareness with who you truly are. This is a journey of oneness. And what better way to manifest what it is you truly desire than by becoming one with them. When you dwell in the place where you are already one with all that is, there is no separation from the prosperity and the abundance and the love and the support that is your natural desire, heartfelt des divine desire. But you can't get there from force. You can't get there through fear, fear-based actions. So any actions that have been rooted in lack or scarcity or fear or illusion, beliefs that tell you you're not good enough or you're not worthy, and any actions that come as a byproduct of those fears, are only going to uh, lead you down a dead end. Thank God. <laughs> Thank yourself for that because you are God. Thank God you get a dead end when you go down the path of seeking outside of yourself because ultimately what you're truly seeking for is you. The true essence of you, who you truly are. So you can finally rest in the place of peace and ease and flow and this isn't to say that you're not going to be able to experience all of the other um, 
emotions as well because what you're doing is you're transcending duality so there is no pushing away anything at this point as you as you continue down this road there's complete acceptance of the present moment and complete acceptance of what is and it could be sadness it could be tears of joy or it could be deep grief it's all life expressing through you so the last few months or years that you're resonating with this where you've been going through these deep cycles of transformation and healing and alchemy and dark night of the soul it's been ultimately to to be able to come into acceptance of what is and no longer seek outside of yourself for anything this isn't to say you don't have desires it isn't to say you don't have preferences it isn't to say that you know if you go out to eat and they give you your menu you're going to choose chocolate over vanilla because that's your preference you have that desire right or if someone asks you on a date you may desire to say yes you may desire to say no this is all just part of it you're still going to have those things but you're not going to be bouncing back and forth between the fear-based thought patterns and the future projections that the mind will want to keep you trapped in that cause you to take action from a place of lack or scarcity or fear you'll just make an empowered decision empowered from the inside out or you'll just make a courageous decision because the circumstance calls for it but you'll be acting in truth you'll be acting in integrity you'll be acting in authenticity of the divine that is animating your physical form the natural impulses you won't be um, layering over them all of this unworthiness or fear of lack or scarcity and allowing those decisions to drive the train anymore of your life so there's a lot of surrendering happening now in the collective there's a lot of trusting in the divine trusting in yourself trusting in life they're all the same thing there's a surrendering trusting in your knowingness trusting in your divine feminine wisdom and choosing yourself sometimes for the very first time choosing yourself and not having to seek outside of yourself for that validation anymore you choose yourself you trust yourself You trust your knowingness. You feel safe in your own presence. That you're okay. No matter what. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry about. There's just life happening and you surrendering to life and all that is. Because you're connected to all of it. And life becomes this beautiful unfolding where it's no longer happening to you like it may have felt, especially when you're in the dark night of the soul, uh, when you're going through it. It's no longer happening to you. It's happening through you. And so if you're resonating with this message, you already can sense a knowingness that things are shifting for you. 
a deep inner knowing. This is not a conceptual understanding and the mind will play tricks on you. But how do you know this? But what if this happens? And you can start to recognize the fear-based patterns of the mind popping up and you can start to call it out and even find it pretty funny because the mind will go to ridiculous lengths to try to keep you trapped in the fear, the ego, the egoic mind. I'm not talking about the mind that you use to, you know, plan an event or go grocery shopping or get directions or do your taxes Let's or learn a new skill. That's the mind being used as a healthy tool. I'm talking about the egoic mind that latches on to every insecurity and every fear and every feeling of lack or scarcity that still resides within you or unworthiness that still resides within you. And so you're being asked to trust and surrender, open to receive, and repeat. Trust, surrender, open to receive, and repeat. And you already have this deep knowing, if you're resonating with this, that that there's a new beginning entering. There's a f- new phase of life, one that is uncharted territory for you. And, and there's so many things that are coming into your experience you can feel it and it's still very much unknown simultaneously but yet you can feel it you're meant to trust that knowing and move with confidence through life with confidence and grace and ease and flow and know that it's all working out for you and this is something also that you've likely been fine-tuning and and evolving over time is your confidence but not this false sense of confidence that you may have leaned on before to sort of like you know puff up your ego kind of inflated ego kind of confidence the one that claims to be this or that or look a certain way or or have a certain accolade or or something something that is boosting your your ego and giving you a false sense of confidence from the outside in I'm not talking about that confidence I'm talking about true sacral confidence that comes only with union with your inner being with your inner essence that confidence is magnetic it's a light that shines through you and it's getting brighter and brighter naturally as you continue to let go and you continue to trust and you continue to surrender. So trust in your inner masculine, which has also been strengthened and integrated over this time of having healthy boundaries and holding space for yourself. This has been very important, a very important part of your feminine essence being able to open up as you've been integrating a healthy, sacred, masculine energy. You've been your own protector. You've been your own sacred space holder. You've taken courageous action and you have upheld healthy boundaries and you will continue to do so because there's no going back and you are fully beginning to embody your empress energy and emperor energy so this message is just to say continue to trust in the unknown allow yourself to be okay with the mystery and magic of life and the unfolding that you don't have to control the outcomes anymore or appear to control the outcomes because you can probably confirm in your life that as much as you try to control the outcomes life has a way of playing out how life plays out and the only thing the control does or that sense of control 
It's caused a lot of frustration and a lot of stress. So surrender to your divine feminine wisdom and flow. Trust in yourself and know that all is working out for you. And as you trust in yourself, that's the same thing as trusting in the divine because you are divine. You are the synchronicities that line your path. That's why you're always in the right place at the right time. There's no separation from you and life itself. Come into presence. Come into knowingness of that. Come into awareness of your true essence. Get out of the mind and into your heart space and trust in that divine wisdom and knowingness and continue to open and receive all that is meant for you. Namaste.